This is the fourth time that I'll be going with the dance company to Kala Utsavam and the Esplanade. And it's amazing because our relationship has grown over the years. It's wonderful what Kala Utsavam is doing because it gives opportunity to a number of artists who practice Indian arts, who practice contemporary work based on Indian arts to present their work in Singapore. Interrupted emerges from the body. It's about the sense of in invincibility that we have. And yet, the body disintegrates. It's not invincible. It's fragile. It's temporary. So it's about this connection that we have with our body and how slowly the skin disintegrates, the muscle disintegrate, the bones disintegrate, feelings disintegrate. And yet, the body is equipped with so much energy. There's so much renewal. So there's, it's about this wonder of life and this wonder of this biological entity, which is the body. And we feel that it's going to be a continuous flow. We try to hold on to a moment that you can never hold on to. It's constantly and always interrupted. I do feel that most of my work start from within. Therefore, I always say now I'm uh, pregnant uh, with interrupted and it takes that time uh, to put it out. Once it is put out, I like to have commas uh, in my work rather than full stops because I would like the audience with their varied experiences, their emotional landscape to come and see us and take back different things. I don't want to hold their hand and take them down a particular path. No, there are diverse avenues, diverse paths, and that is what is satisfactory for me when different people in the audience find a different essence, a different center point, a different way of getting into the piece. Innovation is part of an artistic experience. Whether one is dancing classical, or one is dancing contemporary, or one is dancing innovation, and every time looking at it with a fresh new mind, new thought, new energy, new body, is inherent in any artistic form, any great artistic form. So actually it is excellence, I think, detailing, going deeper into the work that brings about that awareness with the audience. Also, I think today, because we are so well connected, you know, I can sit in my bedroom and, and watch something on YouTube. So what is it that, what is that experience that you are going to give? What is that transformative thing that you are going to suddenly present that is going to bring the audiences in? And I think for that, one has to breathe the air of today. One has to feel the pulse of today, even if one is dancing a classical form that has come down from centuries ago. But that needs to breathe today's air. It's my dream that we just don't go to Indian dance-centric festivals, but that Indian dance in its entirety, I mean, it can be classical work, it can be contemporary work, it could be what we call our contemporary dance based on Kathak, be on a platform where great art and dance is celebrated from across the world. Since Singapore is a, is a society with many, many cultures, uh, uh, coming together of 
many different nationalities. So one of the things I think is to reach out uh, on an international level. Have dance institutions, which I know in Singapore there are many and they are really good teachers who are teaching. Give them an opportunity to develop something on an international level. And I think what is really important is that in Singapore it's really important not only to address the Indian audience but to address uh, uh, an audience that is um, cosmopolitan. I think you have to have the courage to dance your own dance with humility and a sense of vulnerability.